Welcome to Portraits of Hope, a place to discover the hope that's found only in Jesus Christ. When Jesus walked among us, people were amazed by his life. The Bible says that if the miracles of Jesus were written one by one, even the whole world could not contain the books that would be written. Yet, Jesus says that the one who believes can do his work and even greater work because of the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's join Miriam, Kyra, and Alyssa as they learn more about how to be a spiritual person in Jesus Christ. Oh, dear. Come in. Come in. My goodness, that wind. It really is strong today. I thought I'd be blown right off the road. It was quite a walk for me, too. The wind blew my scarf all the way down the street. <laughs> I'll probably never find it. As long as you didn't lose your Bible, right? Oh, no, no, no. It's right here. I'm so glad you could both make it today. Thank you for coming. How do you know it, Carla? Especially since we're going to learn more about what it means to live by faith. And my life has changed so much since we last met. And it's not because my situations have changed. The body changing the way I see the people in my life. And I'm making different choices about how I respond to the things that happen each day. I'm so thankful for what he's doing in my heart. Me too, Miriam. How are you both doing with this spiritual breathing practice and your scripture memorization? Spiritual breathing has made all the difference for me. The minute the Holy Spirit tells me that I am making the wrong choice, I exhale and confess it. And then I inhale and surrender control back to Jesus. That's one of my favorite ways to live by faith. I remind myself often that faith means to fully trust in God 